What is Burning Man? 2019 Burning Man. This is my sixth or seventh time to go to Burning Man. I'm not sure how many times I've been. I forget things and a lot of things that happen at Burning Man people forget. What is Burning Man? Well, there were over 50,000 people there this year, and if you ask any of those 50,000 people, what is Burning Man, they would have had a different answer. Everybody that goes to Burning Man has a different explanation of what Burning Man is. Burning Man is about art, and about self-expression, and about helping one another, and it's about discovering yourself. It's about leaving resentment behind. It's about making new friends. I've met friends from all over the world at Burning Man, and I stay in touch with them. Several years ago, I was at my desk and I was reading. I was reading a book about Google. I think the name of the book was The Google Guys. And as I was reading the book, they were talking about their second or third round of funding which means the investors were going to put a lot more money into Google and they needed this money so they could continue to grow. They received the money, they got the money, and one of the first actions they did was they put Google on autopilot because there was a festival in the desert that they wanted to go to. So at the time there were probably only about 30 or 40, maybe 50 employees, but they put it on autopilot and they all went to this festival in the desert for seven or eight days. I thought, what is Burning Man? That was the name of the festival, Burning Man. So I did what anybody would do at the time. I Googled Burning Man. And I found out there's a festival that, co that happens once a year in a desert just outside of Reno, Nevada. I've been to Burning Man five, six, seven times. I'm not really sure how many times I've been. But after I Googled Burning Man and I, and I looked at it, I did a little investigation about it, I decided I wanted to go to Burning Man. Now, what separates people that are successful and people that are not is action. We made a decision we were going to fly out to California or fly out to Nevada. We were going to get some rental cars and we were going to go to Burning Man. So that's exactly what we did. Actually, I rented a car, I don't remember the, uh, the car company, but I rented a car and it was a brand new Cadillac. I didn't have a tent, I didn't have a motor home, I didn't have a lot of preparations. I slept in the Cadillac. I slept in the car that I rented and my, the person that went with me also slept in the car too. So that was our tent, that was our motor home, it was a brand new Cadillac. We took it out into the desert. We probably got some sand in it. Number one is no evil. Don't do evil to anybody else. Number two is bring whatever you need for the time that you're there. You gotta have, you gotta be fully self-contained. You gotta have plenty of food, plenty of water, and any other equipment you need to be able to be on your own for the time that you're there. Now the festival is seven or eight days long. I generally go three or four days. So the next thing is, you can't leave any trace behind when you leave Burning Man. You can't leave any trash. There are no trash cans at Burning Man, so whatever you bring, you make sure you take back. People do not throw their cigarette butts down on the ground. Uh, very few, very small amount of trash throughout the Burning Man uh, venue. Everybody picks up after themselves and they take it with them. What do I do when I go to Burning Man? Every year I've gone to Burning Man, something different is about it. First time I went, I just went with one person. Second time I went, uh, I went with, with a group of people, including my father. Now my father, his first experience at Burning Man, he was 80 years old. 
I took him for his last time. I'm pretty sure it was his last time. He was 88 years old just a year before last and we went to Burning Man. Every time I go there, it's a different experience. The people are wonderful and I met people from all over the world. One of the things that happened this year at Burning Man is I was at center camp. I was talking to an individual. I'm not sure he was where he was from, but he was commenting on how many people volunteer and are a part of the Burning Man movement or a part of the Burning Man support team. And he said he wanted to volunteer and he said, but he didn't get on the list. He didn't know what he could do. And I recommended he just do foot massages. In center camp, set up a way that he could do foot massages and do massages for people for five to ten minutes each. First thing he said was, hey, I'd like a foot massage. So I said, okay, I'll give you a foot massage. I said, lay down on this table. Somebody walked by and said, do you have any lotion? They said, sure. They gave me some lotion. The guy laid out on the table and I gave him a ten minute foot massage. Five minutes on the left foot, five minutes on the right foot. I met over 60 people. I ended up doing foot massages that day and the next day for a few hours each day. And I met over 60 people from all over the world by doing foot massages. The more we give, the more we live. Now, another thing about Burning Man, clothes are optional. There's about, oh, there's over 50,000 people there. Most of the people are clothed. Every once in a while, somebody just takes their clothes off and they're a part of, they can go anywhere they want. So, you know, you want to be discreet about it to some degree, but no evil. You don't have to wear clothes. Most people don't stay naked the whole time. Some people stay naked maybe for 15 minutes. You know, when we were kids, we all liked to streak. If you didn't streak as a kid, you had a deprived childhood. Everybody ought to have the opportunity to do a little streaking. I'm not saying that I did, but I'm not saying I didn't. I got an art car there. It was an iguana. It was 42 feet long. It was Saturday morning. The iguana was coming through the neighborhood and I saw it and I just fell in love with it. And I, and I stopped the iguana car and I talked to the guy for a few minutes and I said, I gotta have this. What are you gonna do with it after Burning Man? He said, well, I'm gonna put it on eBay and sell it. I said, I wanna buy it. And we were able to make a, a, a transaction he delivered it to Oklahoma for me. He was from Boulder, Colorado. Now I just want to say thank you for building such a great creation. It, I kept it for several years. It was a lot of fun. And as you can see, this thing was hard to, to keep in a cage. It took a 42 foot long cage because it couldn't be out in the weather for an extended period of time. Man is whatever you want to experience and you can see by some of the art and some of the it's dry sometimes it's sometimes it's rainy sometimes it's really hot sometimes it's cold in the evenings you really don't have to have air conditioning because it is in the desert kind of up in the in the altitude and so usually at night it's between you know around 65 to 70 degrees during the day it might get as high as 90 or 100 degrees but I'm from Oklahoma so there's no problem with that kind of heat I can deal with it if you've never been to Burning Man and you want to go get your ticket in advance and um, secure your ticket in advance plan out what you're gonna take to Burning Man make sure that you can be self-sustaining and don't leave anything behind no evil help people out around do something for somebody else just be a giver Thank you for watching. Please share this video with your friends and subscribe down below. Have a wonderful day.